Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this February 2024 forecast. Ideally, if you know your time of birth, go and check out your rising sign predictions. The rising sign is who you're aspiring to become in this lifetime. So it gives you a lot of insights about the embodiment of your higher self, but if you don't know your birth time, just don't worry about it, just go check out your sun sign. Now, I like to do those readings per element. So we're going to start with air, then we're going to move to water, because Aquarius, Pisces, and then we're going to move to fire and earth. All right, let's get started. My dear air element sign. So if you are a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius rising or sun sign, those messages are for you for February 2024. So I have a little pile because I like to use many decks and then I am going to be using the wisdom of the Oracle for clarification and diving deeper into those energies. So first, let's look at all those cards. Plenty of messages wanted to come forward. We first have for you, wow, the mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to say, <laughs> I know I just said we're going to look at the cards first. But I can't help myself. I need to say this. Libra is connected to seventh house and this type of connection feels very much like the mirror effect. So I would say that there could be some energies here, especially connected to Libra and Libra is the archetype of the dreamer. It's about um, living the dream. It's about seeing in others how our relationships are mirroring what we carry within, okay? I did create recently a reel about this that was pretty popular about what I just said. Oh, it is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality. More flowers, energy. I feel like the blooming. Some type of blooming energy, maybe a preparation for later on the spring, but there's definitely something that is emerging. Catch me. Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. Interesting. All those raven energies here. Very mystical phase in February and something almost, I don't know if you can see it, uh, that light that comes through the darker clouds. Maybe some of you, it was a little bit of some hard times that you're going to start, you know, breaking free from. I do feel a connection a little bit to the dark feminine asteroids. So some of you, maybe you have an activation in February uh, of your Lilith, maybe your Medusa, your Kali asteroid, or even your Ishtar. Okay, forget about not saying anything until we see all the cards, Audrey. <laughs> Sorry. I, it's like, if it has to be said, I just can't help myself. Ooh, I like this, especially with this. Help from above. Number 27 in the angles of the zodiac is very much connected to um, confidence. Okay, and um, I wouldn't be surprised that if in February there's something that is being offered, maybe an offer that's blooming, a project that is in the process, maybe you're working on something, you know, that you want to make flourish. It's, it's showing that you're going to receive signs and synchronicities, especially from your divine feminine energy, because the mirror working with the unseen, working with what others are uh, mirroring to ourselves, but not only others, but even uh, numbers, synchronized uh, events, you know, series of numbers, synchronicities, just things that materialize because you're 
on a certain frequency of that desire. And some of you, maybe you felt that it was maybe too much of a leap of faith. Mm -mm. It feels like February might have some cosmic alignment here that are literally putting you on that level, that level of frequency. And I'm saying it like up like this because above, it just feels like, so. okay, when I said above, maybe there's something in your mid heaven, the mid heaven in your chart that's called the MC. Okay, that's the one of the points that's important in your chart because it's your public life. Whether you have planets there or not, you might have a transit. You might have a transit there. Okay, I wouldn't be able to tell you what sign, but if you're watching this, especially if it's your rising sign, you, those points, the rising, descending, the midheaven, the imun koili, those are major points to help you embody this oath, this soul's oath that you wanted to experience, wanted to learn certain things about thyself. Especially for you, my dear air, rising or sun signs. It seems that it was important to talk about this. By the way, as I'm channeling this, I still have until January 31st, 2024, a promotion for uh, your birth chart reading. So some of you, if that's something that spikes your curiosity and you're feeling that energy, then you might be interested in that promotion. That will be in the description below. Wow, look at this. Bold Eagle, the Emperor. Ambition fearlessness and leadership this and, and i feel called to pull it here it's almost like there is something that you've learned on your life path i don't know why i said life path maybe some of you you have a certain life path that speaks of you know maybe you're here to bring higher wisdom i don't know why i'm seeing the number seven um, but that could be also whatever number, but maybe your life purpose, your life path has an importance in here. But bringing some wisdom through your path, through whatever maybe your desires through this life, what you were attracted to learn, to experience in good and bad, okay? This is going to be something of value. This seems to be of value, and probably part of what is almost like getting ready to, to boil or brew into something more concrete, okay? And because it's a collective reading, I feel like there could be different layers of stages of where you are at with this energy. You have the beaver, seven of cups. Oh, I see seven. <laughs> Dreams. Deception or determination. There's something about building yourself up. Building the dream. Very much connected to, again, Libra. But that doesn't have to be. You can be Aquarius or you can be Gemini. But this air quality, this connection almost to divine intelligence, to maybe timeline, and make, having the ability to bring those dreams into manifestation is very strong here. There's maybe through the month of February, um, a need to dedicate yourself to mastering some type of leadership. And that means that, you know, true leaders, they're people that walk their talk. And that means that whatever it's going to look like for you, that means that, you know, whatever wisdom you have or recommendations you have, you apply them. You follow the truth that rings true to you. Let's see what else. Black Panther, the Queen of Wands. Intense love of life. Again, the word determination and altruism. What beautiful, powerful energy animals that I'm feeling. So again, I feel that some of you, you might be very connected to be guided through animals, animal spirit. 
and receiving some of the synchronicities through February of this almost like it's, it's like in preparation it just feels like like a wheel that is you know in motion there's something okay there's something in motion that you've put into motion a desire and maybe in the past you didn't feel safe to express that desire okay that desire maybe it could be you know it doesn't have to be a sensual desire it could be um I want to be my own boss, or I want to be a healer, I want to be a writer, whatever that is, okay? And there is in February something, especially it seems to be charted, and what I mean by charted, it's like weaved into the cosmic alignment through February that you're going to be receiving an influx of energy, Okay, we have in February a lot of, <laughs> now I understand, we're receiving a lot of planets in Aquarius. I have my notes here on the side, sorry, I'm like looking at this. Okay, I wrote them down and I was wondering, why do I need to do this before? Okay, February 5th, Mercury in Aquarius. February 9th, New Moon in Aquarius. February 13th, Mars in Aquarius. Uh, February 16th, Venus in Aquarius. Whoa, okay, so you're watching this, you might be a rising Aquarius, so that, that would make it really big. That would make it really big. And if you have maybe Aquarius in your midheaven, that would be also really big, okay? Um, let's go deeper <laughs> with the wisdom of the Oracle. All right, what else do we need to know for the month of February for my air, sun, or rising signs? Okay. Wow. Look at this. Didn't I tell you there was something sick? There was something in put into motion. I know here it says round and round, but I feel um, an energy. It's almost like something that you're fueling, fueling by your desire. And that could be that, you know, you have to overcome certain patterns and the more you review and the more this desire of mastery, of knowing is put into motion, the more it grows. It grows in something that is stronger in its desire, which makes it more magnetic, more attractive, maybe an offer that you will end up having to present, to deliver. But it also is something that it just, especially with the blue, it's something that was, that was set. Something that feels faded. Something that feels that, you know, you came here with a spirit team uh, that is supported you, supporting you from beyond the material plane to achieve this. Now, with this huge full moon energy, on February 24th, there is a full moon in Virgo. Okay, so some of you, maybe you have Virgo placements that are important, okay? But that means that there might be a culmination because this is where, you know, from a seed of intention with the new moon and then it grows into something that is more like seen, it culminates. There might be something uh, from the new moon, so February 9th, and it grows February 24 into something that is more significant for you to notice, okay? But it feels that February is just putting into motion something that you've been wanting, you've been desiring. Let's see if I can put this here and rip. There you go. Create a little bit more space. So round and round we go. But round and round we grow. <laughs> Let's see what else. Okay. Between worlds. Okay. You might be in a place of in-between, especially with this one. You know, the beaver with the seven of cups. The seven of cups in the regular tarot speaks of different options, speaks of different choices. It can create splits in terms of timelines. So maybe some of you, you still are making choices that are making and putting into motion, maybe catering 
more precisely what it is that you want to offer to others. But it's going to take the necessity to serve you first, especially with all this leadership type of energy, you need to become that embodiment. And remember, this is why I was called to focus on the rising sign. If you know it, the sun sign is also the knowing thyself is what you know of yourself. So this is something you want to know. So whether it's you're watching the sun or the rising sign, it's, it's kind of like this, this light, this focus you want to put on. And here it's saying, okay, you may still have to make certain choices, life decisions that are almost like narrowing into your highest path. Okay. All right. Last card here Oop. Woo. <laughs> for you. Yin. And especially with this one, I like it. Um, and, and, and even with this, you see all this black energy here, dark feminine activation. I wouldn't be surprised as some of you, this is something that you need is connecting more to some of the sacred feminine principles that you have natally, or you might receive a transit. Now, some of you, if you don't know much about the ones that I like to work with, Lilith, Medusa, Ishtar, and Kali, you can look in the description box and I will leave a description of what they're kind of indicating in your chart and if that's something that resonates. But what it's showing you is that you're working in February through an energy shift. You still have to make decisions, decisions that are going to be based on what the world is reflecting to you and what your desires of creation are going to be. And you're going to want to surrender and trust and take those leap of faith into the process, okay? Because you're in a time of shifting, maybe more, you know, like putting, just like when you plant seeds in, uh, in a garden and you see, oh, I planted this and other things just grew. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? So you're going to weed off certain options that may have come as you experience life, as you experience planting intentions. And that's what I'm feeling for you, my dear air element, sun or rising sign, that especially using your intuition and your feminine energy, which is more tapping into the unseen, tapping into your emotions, tapping into what your body feels is going to lead you to make greater choices in February. So you start embodying more and more that higher self, that higher version. And remember, I feel this is important for you to hear, you are being protected. You and the soul's oath that you came with as far as self-mastery, as far as redemption of karma, as far as learning, you know, this is protected by the universe because life supports life. And when you came for incarnation, you came to better yourself. And what I mean by better yourself, is not, I'm not talking about the conditionings. And that means more learning things at a soul level, understanding, um, you know, concepts that are so wide that it, words don't even define them. But you're still trying to materialize some of those energy principles. And this is an embodiment. That means like what you are meant to emanate as an energy is very unique to you and what your soul has experienced. And this is a gift that you're receiving and that the universe wants you to manifest through you, for you but also for others and for the evolution of humanity. All right, that's what I have for you, my dear air elements, sun or rising. Thank you so very much. Please don't, rem don't forget and remember to give those videos thumbs ups. It helps and supports the channel to grow. And if you need personal guidance, you can check the description box below. My no, dear water element, sun or rising sign. So if you are a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces rising or sun sign, those messages are for you. I have a little pile of very different decks and then I like to use the wisdom of the Oracle to just dive deeper in whatever is going to be revealed first. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. 
Ooh, freedom, independence, and self-determination. I don't know why, but this, this card always feels very Scorpio-like. I don't know if it's the skull, probably. Um, yeah, so freedom, independence, and self-determination. Okay. I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. Wow, interesting. I'm going to put it closer while we're working with this. Once was innocent. Knowledge means change. Wow, that feels like already a lot is going on for you in February. <laughs> my dear, water. Sun sign and rising signs. Procrastination. Well, this definitely TikTok. <laughs> I didn't mean the app, even though that could speak to someone. Okay. Um, but the clock here, it feels like there's something that is of the essence in February 2024 for you, my dear water signs. Okay. So here, there is something about freeing you from habits. So maybe there could be habits that are concrete. Maybe, you know, you have to clean up your diet. Maybe you should take a break on coffee. Maybe, uh, you know, there could be some sobriety and things like that that come into play. There could be also certain ways of thinking or certain ways of feeling certain ways of, you know, maybe victimizing yourself, seeing yourself that are now going to be revealed to you strongly through this month that are and have been hindering you. And I see here, knowledge means change. That means that you, you've known this. And it, especially with the snake, it seems that it's been almost like cycle after cycle after cycle, you're seeing deeper and deeper and deeper the truth of certain events, situations, people, perception, and especially yourself. Now, there could be certain things that maybe you hesitated on. It could be changing jobs, changing homes, changing. There's a lot of change, especially here. Knowledge means change. There might be some changes that you know. And in February 2024, if you've been holding back on those changes, and if you've been maybe procrastinating, this is going to be your green light. Now, I remember reading a little bit um, about this card recently. And I remember this booklet saying that you know, if you had like a project, maybe some of you, let's for say, for example, you have like a, a little side job or a little side hustle or something you want to build on the side, okay, that is more connected to your dreams, to your abilities, your craft and art, okay, and maybe you've been working and let's say TikTok, maybe you've been working on social media, okay, to put it all together, uh, but you're waiting. You've been waiting to put yourself out there. February is definitely showing that some of the things that used to hinder you, you're going to receive cosmic activation to release those blockages. Growth is very predominant here as you start honoring certain parts of you that have learned. Okay, so some of you, you might go through phases of reevaluating, you know, um, uh, your routine. Okay, like recently, it's very silly, but recently, like I made a point because I work remotely that I have to pay attention to how much I walk, specifically walk. I love hikes, but I was like, I need every day, not every other day. I know some people are say, like, that's good enough, but you know, maybe I need more grounding because of what I do, which is channeling a lot. So I put this as my little, you know, goals, little goals to at least two miles a day. That's a little small things that I've seen such an increase in my energy 
just from making sure that not only I exercise, which is like, you know, strength training and, and flexibility and all of stuff, I do the walking because I'm in nature and I can feel the earth. I can smell the elements, the, the trees, the oxygen. Okay. So I don't know why I'm sharing this, but I feel that's something like this, like little small changes in February, 2024, that are going to make big impact. Okay. On you. I was surprised. I thought like I was doing enough and it's not like, oh, I need to lose weight. That was not that. That was more like, I feel there's something that I'm going to receive in return from taking that extra time for myself. And I don't know if you're new to the channel, but if you've been watching this channel for a while, recently, especially since December 2023, and even in January, there was a lot of messages through all the readings that I'm doing that hinted how to connect or the, 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 the advice of connecting to nature, to tap into the sacred geometry of nature, of the abundant nature, prosperous nature that was surrounding us already. Okay. So if that's something also that could have been worrying you because the freedom aspect and the fact that, you know, I was telling you about working remotely, maybe uh, your own business. Um, there might be some factor here as far as, you know, feeling more free by you deciding a little bit more in, in February, 2024, how to design your schedule in ways that support you, you know, and, that could be, you know, waking up a little earlier so you can do uh, a little bit of stretching in the morning, okay? Or fit a meditation every day. Or maybe if you have a stressful job, make sure that you have like a power nap or, or a meditation between, you know, around noon when people usually <laughs> dive, deep dive into like snooze time. Um, you know, things like that. But it seems like in February, you're going to feel more inclined to listen to those higher messages and the higher guidance. Okay, let's see what else we have. Manati, the five of cups, loss, hidden solutions, better times ahead. This is interesting here because um, with the freedom and the loss, and some of you, it might be that you know, um, you're seeing the, you know, sometimes when you have like, you need to change your habit. One thing that I always, uh, was helping my clients do. And when I was doing personal training, especially where it was diet or training, implementing a new habit, especially when you have to give up something you have to make sure that what you give up, you replace with something that means you can expect someone not to miss something if they were used to it, okay? Good or bad for them, it doesn't matter, okay? But it created a habit, it created dependence, and now you have to make sure that you're trying to bring a different aspect that you can replace it with that would bring at least some element of freedom, some element of joy, some of element of satisfaction, or, you know, or kind of like you know that ultimately in time, this is going to lead you to a better outcome in time. Some of you with this water rising or water sign, sun sign, there's something about you making certain changes in February, 2024, that is going to lead you to have more freedom, feeling more, I would say also more energy told you with the, um, with the Scorpio energy that I always feel in this card, um, maybe there's just some shadows that you need to release. Maybe those shadows were keeping you from acting. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. The stork, the six of swords. Huh? Look at this better times ahead again, but this was the last indication. And this is the first one, new home and hearth. Okay, I like this because it seems that some of you, it could be, you know, kind of like New Year's resolution. Maybe you did decide on certain resolution 
for yourself, knowing that it's going to uh, be supportive of your emotional um, and even spiritual, uh, not just intelligence, but just over, overall wellness, okay? Bringing some well-being all around in your life. Last but not least, the jellyfish with the Queen of Cups. Psychic visionary, compassion, and radiance. I love those colors that are repeating here with the purple. And even here, I feel almost like a Labradorite energy. Some of you may know this uh, crystal. Very connected to psychic abilities, to the crown. Uh, helping you have access to what can what could be so some of you i don't know what happened in january but it seems that february you're shifting uh there's a lot of things that you may have realized where you might have had good things bad things doesn't matter but you're just like seeing and reviewing january in a way that you're like okay well this works for me and this doesn't really work so I need to give this up, whether it's a habit, a substance, a, you know, a way of thinking, a way of, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but it's important. Maybe some of you, it's letting yourself be controlled by outside circumstances, letting others and their reactions and their perception affect you. Okay, that feels like it's important. I don't know why I'm putting it out there. And being able to be less reactive because you're self-mastering, you're learning. You're learning more about yourself. And as you do this, you're creating a new home, a new space for yourself, a new space where whatever used to hold you back, maybe some past fears, some past doubts, you're going to start really receive from the divine, from opening up your third eye, different perception of what is possible for you. All right, let's move on to the oracle cards. Let's see what we have for you, my dear water rising or sun sign. To the sea. How to let, let go, let flow. I feel this is the most, I'm always amazed by how some details just, I've, I've seen this card, I've had this deck for years and I never paid attention to the arrow. Like, like why, how? There's you, some of you again, that could be because I was really, it was really predominant in my higher intuition to look at the rising sign, but it seems like you're going into a certain direction. It could be also that you're being activated in your North node. Maybe some of you, your, I don't know why I'm receiving this. Maybe your South node could be activated and you're releasing a lot of the past fears from your past lives. So this is almost like putting you into, uh, you know, realizing things that, that's the problem with the South Node. It's places that feel comfortable, but it doesn't mean that it allows growth. And I feel change is very predominant for you in February, my dear water signs. So there's going to be change and you're probably with your water quality, you're feeling it. You're feeling the changes, the better times ahead. And this is going to become clearer and clearer. All right. Time for a nap. Didn't I tell you about a power nap? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. Time for a nap. I would say here... Um, Definitely nurturing your routine is important. Surrendering to your higher self, your intuition, to realizing the things that no longer serve you and allow this shedding process is important and put 
you know, some time aside to rejuvenate, to allow you to rest and be in optimal energy. I told you, for me, it was silly because you would think like doing more should take away some of my energy, but it actually gave me energy. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Then breathe. Wow, very, very, very interesting cards for you, my water sign. So meditation, rest, surrendering, but that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean we're not taking into account. There's like, there's wisdom in what you've learned as far as the past. There's wisdom as far as whatever you've already experienced that may have felt like, you know, losses or, or dis, like, like disillusion or expectations that were not met. And you're in a phase where you're creating that new space for a greater version of you to emerge. It's not new year, new me. It's actually new year, better me. It's a, it's someone that knows that has learned. So meditate, <laughs> take some extra time to make sure maybe if it's not a power nap that, um, you're getting good sleep at night because some of you might be that you're going to receive a lot of visions or through your dream state, a lot of guidance of what's to come further than everything that we've already mentioned. And be patient with the process. It's in motion. I, I, it's, it's really something that is, is in motion. And whenever you feel um, any type of fear, okay? Because I feel that some of you in February, there are specific actions that you need to take. But you need to be in a space where you're not like rushed or stressed or overwhelmed for you to feel safe to take those steps. So you want to nurture yourself because those projects, those uh, things that need to be put out there. Remember, we mentioned social media, maybe some projects that needs to be released, you know, videos of yourself, of your art, your craft or whatever. Um, this is, this is an indication that this is going to be a time for you to do it. Oh yeah. And I don't know if I finished about this, this card. It also said part of this little booklet that even if you do it and you make a mistake and it's not what you expected, remember here expectations also, it's still better in this case to go ahead and take the leap of faith. Okay. Because there is probably also wisdom in trying and even if you feel like it's failing falling or it doesn't lead you to what you expected there are lessons and it's almost like you're never going to have like the perfect time and if you were waiting for that perfect time and you're watching this reading this is your sign all right my dear water rising and sun sign that's all i have for you i'm trusting this is supporting you please give it a thumbs up and if you want personal guidance you can look in the description box namaste my dear fire sun or rising sign so if you are aries leo or sagittarius sun or rising those messages are for you i already have a pile and then we'll use the uh wisdom of the oracle to get some more details about february 2024 all right let's get started coral's wisdom Colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. Wow, this card feels so magnetic. Wow. Just, I, there's some type of like beauty that feels, that is emerging. Maybe you're going to have a certain potential that is being activated and that's coming to the surface. Very connected to the earth, the water, the elements. I'm sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I just felt like I could stay here and, and just feel this energy for a while. Uh, it's interesting now I've said that. It's like 
work that has been created over a great period of time. Some of you might be a certain talent, craft, that is not just stemming from this lifetime, but from many, many, many lifetimes. And this is why it feels like I, mean, I just want to witness this energy that is being emanated from this being because it just reflects not, it, it's almost like something that you know is not just luck. It, it's something that at a soul level has been desired and wanting to be mastered and wanting to be shared. Feels like art and heart. All right, let's put in closer first. Wow, collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. Wow. Look at all this sacred geometry. Fractals and sacred geometry. Nature within and without. In February, you're definitely my dear fire, sun or rising signs. Going to let your heart and your art, like everything that you are, that uniqueness, start to shine more. And as it shines more, there's this gathering of the souls. You're going to probably attract, I would say here in terms of business, it's, that, that looks like a good month. <laughs> okay? That looks like a good business month. That looks like you're easily attracting clientele. Um... But not just that, just like, like people that it just feels easy to work with, work for, you know, just because of everything you've, you've mastered. Maybe you're also going to be sought after whatever it is, your niche I'm hearing, okay? Glimpse, indigo, rainbow, crystal children and beyond. But here... <laughs> I feel like admirer energy. Wow, fire signs and, you know, rising fire signs. I did not expect this. What a different pace than other, <laughs> other signs for here. I need to, like, get a better seat here. Wow. Some of you, if you are working with crowds or you're working with a public, you're being watched, people are enjoying your art, whatever you're sharing yeah wow again not expecting all of these messages and then we have the letting go interesting hmm did not expect that let's see where that goes with this letting go okay I'm gonna mention it because it is a collective reading and you see I don't know if you see from the color there's a lot of that turquoise energy throat. I feel that if you're watching this and you're not yet receiving the attention that I'm feeling is in the works for fire rising and fire sun signs, then there could be something connected with a past tendency with your speech, especially, maybe a way of talking about yourself, maybe also how you relate to that ability, that craft, that art of yours. See, because it's almost like turning its back on its, itself. So making sure that maybe some of you, you had to um, turn your perception around about something. Maybe some of you... <sighs> You know what? That what I feel is that okay. I, I don't know why I'm gonna share this, but again, just like when I work one on one with people, I just trust my gut when I I, I feel those stories coming. I rem I've been working on social media for whew, over ten years, and it was not just astrology back in the days. It was more personal training. You know, working with herbs, detox, diets, a lot of different things for health more, and um. I remember being like astonished by the amount of 
of uh, negativity and, 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 and hard comments that I was getting from people. And I don't get that at all anymore. I'm like, I, I, it's, it's almost like being totally removed from my experience. Not like 100%, but pretty much. But I remember that at the time, it taught me so much about how I was so um, dependent, codependent almost, to especially the negative output, comments, you know, reaction. It's almost like someone that wants to be liked by everybody. And when there's one person that doesn't like them, that's, that's their focus. I'm going to make that person like me. Okay. I wasn't like that, but pretty much had this energy and this, I'll share this with you. So if you don't know this yet, this usually comes from, you know, having experienced a lot of narcissistic dynamics in your relationship and maybe being raised by narcissistic parents that leads you to become very hypersensitive. Maybe some of you, this is what I'm seeing as an ability. Maybe that's your hypersensitivity. And I can tell you, you've seen how I reacted to it. I was almost like in bewilderment, bewitched by this energy because it just feels so full. But again, that depends to who is looking at this. Are they able? And I feel that in February, this is going to be something you're going to understand and start to master. If some of you don't know about my Super Empath playlist, this was the first album that I released in terms of sound engineering to remove all this type of BS, okay? Especially the first one is removing psychic debris about <laughs> with narcissism. I would definitely, if that's you, if that's you being a strong empath and, and just feeling things so strongly and you were attracting more negative things, you know, or, or reactions and you focused more on that, definitely shift your perception about what your empathy is doing for you, not against you. Okay. There's a shift here that is going to occur, but now that you notice, and this is where the throat, maybe you were getting comments and how you react to it. That could be like, you don't have to say anything, but that doesn't mean it doesn't give you scars. Some of you, you know, I like to say that we are turning our scars into stars. That's, that's the beauty, especially when you start working with astrology. You're awakening the stars within. Oh, look at this. Snake and more blue energy. The tower. Shocking. Change. Transformation. Liberation. Maybe some of you, you're going to go through or are, have gone through shedding many layers of yourself, maybe Kundalini awakening, realizing what I shared with you. Actually, I had no idea about those patterns, you know, narcissism. I knew nothing. I knew about self-centered people, but I didn't know the gaslighting techniques. I did not know all the mental manipulation. I was just very open-hearted. Um, when I learned about this, this really changed a lot and it really changed in giving me more empowerment in my own intuition which I feel is very important because some of you that might be what is very attractive in you is your open heart is how you still glow almost like this this light in the dark but you have to make sure that you protect it that you transform yourself in a way that feels more liberating you know, like that, that light that doesn't have constriction, especially from others. Okay. And I'm, I'm saying this because it seems that you have a lot of potential and a lot that is coming and wants to come for you, but you have to make sure that if you're being feeling that there's blocks, then work on those things here. Yes. Look at this, the hawk, the ace of sword, conquest, clear vision, discernment. Oh my God, I needed this so much myself. Discern. I'm not a fire rising and I'm not a fire uh, sun sign, by the way. Um, but that doesn't mean there's some no resonance here. There's a higher truth. 
there's this is in February. This is a time for you to harness the power of your heart, the power of your intuition, have discernment about who is rooting for you and who's not and letting go of some relationships, some dynamics, freeing yourself. And that might be shocking to others. Uh, maybe there's going to be a different tone to your work, to your message, how you share yourself with others. Don't care about it. If it feels in alignment with you, follow that. And then the Ten of Pentacles. Yes. The pig. Family. Yes. True wealth. And avoiding risk. I feel like here with the avoiding risk is like stopping this type of maybe lethal, fatal attraction that you may have had in the past, especially with the Kundalini. Some of you may have attracted round and round some karmic dynamics, especially if it was with narcissism. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised that could have been repeated in your life. But now it's like February is bringing a new version of you with wealth that is just beyond materialistic it's just it's well from feeling seen feeling heard feeling almost like held by others supported even if they're not physically here okay especially i don't know why i need to say this but especially if some of you were codependent in terms of presence if you i need a person to be next to me to feel safe there is some level of emotional security and safety that you're going to be able to bring yourself. Okay, let's dive deeper. <laughs> As if it was not deep enough. Feels very deep. You might be a very deep person. Okay. All right. I, I just feel this card wants to be here. Okay. Look at this. I told you. Treasure Island. Like, look at this. This is, this is like... You have so much to offer, so much that is precious. And it's almost like also this treasure island is like where you're heading, where, you know, it might have been slow. It might have been slower than you wanted or expected, but it's like, because you had to look at the true wealth. It was the, it's your heart, the wealth of your heart, of your emotional intelligence, of your empathy, your compassion, but also now your discernment, because now you need to have wisdom, not just the heart, because it doesn't seem like the heart is a problem for you. Look at this. Thinker, the discernment on the Ace of Sword. Make sure that you are surrounding with yourself with people that think highly of you and that you think highly of, okay? It's better to have a smaller group you see, this is like, this is, this is smaller, but this is, this is cherished. This is, this is making you feel seen, supported. And it all starts with almost like the root core, the core. Okay. So some of you, there might be something about at your core, there was a lot of wounds. You might have had a hard path. Your empathy may have led you to have a lot of, you know, ups and downs in your life, but you've learned and you're learning more and you're learning more about the wealth of your heart and that wisdom that you're self-mastering. Ah, look at this. No place like home. You're going, look at this. This is all speaking about bringing you back to yourself. This is the true home. This is once you feel whole, you feel home. And when you feel home, you have great connections, you have great clients, collaborations, even the public and how people react to you is nice, is supportive. Yeah, I love this for you. This is all I have, my dear fire, sun or rising signs. Thank you so very much. If it supported you, give it a thumbs up. It supports the channel to grow. And if you need personal guidance, go and check out the promotions that are still going on until the end of January before February. I will have something else for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Namaste. My dear earth elements. So if you are a sun or a rising Taurus, 
Virgo or Capricorn, this message is for you. Or I should say those messages because we're going to be here for a little bit. <laughs> so first we have a little pile of different decks that I just pulled before and now we're going to have more details through the wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, I like to do this because I'm trying to keep the videos around an hour, <laughs> not too long, uh, but long enough. I don't know why length, time, space seems of the essence in February for you, my dear Earth, Sun or rising signs. The air, breathing deep, entering into life, exchange of life, bringing energies, feels like you're entering a new cycle. Almost like, have you ever felt that when you're more poised, breathing differently, taking more time to breathe, to observe, there's almost like a different aura that emanates from you. I feel your presence much more charismatic in February, much more poised, more calm, more self-aware. I do feel that relationships may come into play, but we're going to see here. Play is my pathway to joy. Ooh. I, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say it. It's not for everyone, but play, foreplay, I got to say it. <laughs> it's just, okay, uh, the charisma, yeah, some of you, you're looking hot <laughs> to others. This, <laughs> you guys, I am just like, it's <laughs> those messages sometimes are just so different um from pile to pile okay this is where we're going uh my dear earth sun and rising okay all right i'll play with that um yeah there's this there's something about maybe appreciating yourself more that makes you radiate a different type of energy also i wouldn't be surprised that you would be Okay, again, that's not what I expected to say, but uh, I heard the word courted. You might be going on dates. I know there is, you know, Valentine's Day. So some of you, if you are entering or have been entering a relationship, it looks like it's going to be hot. Okay, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, and you might be very, um, if you're single, you might have a lot of people interested in you. Okay, not expecting this, but okay. <laughs> Some of you might not be something that you did not expect. Uh, it could be that there is, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, there is Uranus that just went direct and we have Jupiter that is direct, that is in Taurus, okay? So if you are a rising Taurus, for example, that could be what I'm feeling because it's, it's, it's really activating some of those parts um, with those planets that are very just just radiating a lot of energy with Jupiter and Uranus that's now moving in a more playful. If some of you don't know, but when you watch my reels, whether it's YouTube shorts or the reels on Instagram, I do have for all the reels uh, an illustration of a certain movement in astrology. So I can feel that some of you that's maybe in your chart, you might be activated there. So yeah, it's, it's, wow, beauty and the beast, unconditional love. Like, I knew relationship <laughs> coming into play. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say else that, that you look really, okay, again, I'm hearing those words, yummy. Okay, some of you, you may already have someone that's courting you that is using this word. Say what you mean. I can't with you. I can't. Okay. All right. I don't know why, but I felt that this one, I felt that she was actually keeping her ears shut. Okay. So if some of you, I'm going to say it because I have to say it. What I feel, I just share. Um, 
some of you among all of this you might attract some <laughs> some ugly beast and what i mean by this is not physical okay i'm saying just like kissing many frogs before finding your prince charming uh or princess charming it's more like maybe some people especially if you're dating online maybe you're going to see that maybe yummy saying oh you look very yummy you might want to walk away from that okay you might also attract some people and have the discernment um that they're not for you that you are in a phase where you want to embody a new cycle of your life so you're a queen king you're a goddess god self okay and you want to have fun but you also want to feel respected and I would say here, make sure that you say what you you mean when you're facing situations that are disrespectful. Okay, I did not. What the heck is going on? <laughs> All right. Ooh, I mean, I can't with you. The shark, the devil, living in darkness, bondage, spiritual awakening. Okay, so some of you in February just be mindful of your potential for fatal attraction it's going to be tempting some of you it's going to be tempting i'm not yeah that can be very tempting been there done that i'm a scorpio okay and <laughs> i know this energy um but there's something with the spiritual awakening part here it's almost like a part of you may have been already done, been there, done that, okay? And you want to have your antennas rised. And maybe you want to make sure that you're wanting something greater, something more than just physical love, some type of bond that is beyond time and space. Remember, I said there was something about time and space, and now it feels like it's coming back. Okay. I feel that some of you, maybe you have a soulmate, twin flame, whatever label you want to associate, but you have someone that is meaningful, that is coming your way in February, okay? I did not expect this to come forward, but it feels very sensual, very magnetic. Trust your instinct and watch, you know, it, I heard basic instincts. <laughs> I mean, you're cracking me up. The ones that are watching this, please give me comments below because I need to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> like, this, this feels like fun, okay? But remember, what type of fun are you looking for? Because I want to tell you that this is fun. Some of this fun you already know. There's another level of fun, of pleasure. Almost like... Uh, spiritual arousal that some of you are about to encounter oh i did not expect seeing this but okay all right <laughs> oh my the b wheel of fortune luck life cycles major karmic events you're gonna have some choices honey honey what what <laughs> okay honey be okay again the attraction level is hot it's steamy it's 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 almost irresistible but remember some of you you're going to be facing with free will and you're going to be facing with different type of attraction i can tell you i remember like it was yesterday when i had my kundalini awakening my spiritual awakening i started attracting a bunch of karmic fatal attraction so i could you know uh almost like close loose ends and i can tell you like when i was ready to meet my person it was i remember it they came at the same time with another temptation and it was very clear to me this is the new road and this is the old one but that didn't mean that both were not tempting but i had learned a lot and I was able to make what I feel was the right decision. And it was. Ultimately, the shark, the devil, showed itself very quickly. And, 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 
again, I don't know why I'm sharing all this with to you, but I feel that some of you, you will be surprised by the type of rewards that are awaiting from making a greater choice this time, especially if you are looking for something greater in terms of love. Wow. The magician with the raven. Alchemy, manifestation, and let's not forget, willpower. All right, okay. So, February 2024, my dear earth, sun, or rising. You have a certain aura, a certain glow that is attractive, that feels very playful, that feels like it's, you know, it's, it's, it's engaging, attractive, and it's going to bring opposite attractions. And some are going to be repeated cycles of attractions and some are going to be new ones that are alchemized, but are going to ask you to use your willpower. What are you going to choose? It's up to you. Now we're going to get more messages. Maybe we'll get more details. Again, this is free will. So, and this is collective message. So I can't really, um, pinpoint all of this, but let's see what those cards are going to reveal. I, I, you, you surprise me. Okay. You surprise me, but I like it. Co-create. Wow. See, I like what I said just before when I was shuffling. I say, you surprise me with co-create. You're going to choose, I feel for some of you, much wiser with the owl. Someone that can seize beyond the shadows, okay? And can see the shadow within another. And again, we all have shadows. So it's not about judging <laughs> especially with the beast here again it's more like okay i've already played this game not doing it again okay and uh i don't know why but i feel like with this kind of uh mirror effect between the do you say polka dots here i don't think so but sorry this is not my first language so sometimes i get tongue-tied <laughs> but there's a like a little reflection here I feel that you're going to be able to already see like the, this cloak. Some of you are going to be able to recognize it's almost like different faces, different places, but same type of person, same type of attraction or dynamic. And you're going to be able to recognize this and you're going to be able to co-create something different. At least that's, that's what it's, it's showing here. Okay. Up those two cards. No place like home. Interesting. I feel like <laughs> some of you. Um, okay. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I will. I will say it. Okay. What? <laughs> if they're trying to go home with you too soon, big no no. Okay. I, I I had to say it, but I felt that for some of you. You know, uh, making sure that you also nurture your time at home. Maybe some of you, uh, you're going to meet people that are going to say like, uh, you're boring, you never do anything fun, you're not partying like you used to, or what do you do, why are you staying home, come out, it's the weekend, let's get drunk, let's party, okay? And it feels like you're in a different place with this energy. And maybe that's what people don't realize is that you started to be a different person. You started to honor yourself more. You started entering a new phase for yourself. And that is making you glow differently. And maybe you're going to be having to stand for yourself in terms of words, put your willpower into play, but also being able to speak up because you're creating something different. And again, I feel that you have to watch for people using emotional manipulation because I can feel this. I can feel narcissism here strongly coming that could be at play and people trying to convince you to do things you don't want to do uh, through their, their ability to, 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 to kind of like morph into something so they can get to what, to the goal. <laughs> want the honey in the house okay <laughs> I mean I can't I seriously can't I I actually like this type of reading because you know well we're human and this is part of life uh but when it comes like this I'm like like 
like how does this energy come through with like a, the animal spirit and yeah yeah i can't i just yeah treasure island i like this you remember there's something greater coming for you yeah honey honey the bee the right bee okay is going to come and, <laughs> and take care of you <laughs> just just uh just nurture what you feel is in alignment alchemize whatever you might attract that you're like ew why is this repeating or you're like frustrated by it alchemize it surrender to it maybe it's because you have to learn to speak up maybe you have to learn discernment about people's manipulation uh you know learning certain things so as you allow those cycles and every time you can make a greater decision there is something greater and especially it seems that it's a person now if you are in a stable relationship even though this i don't know maybe the ones watching this are going to be mainly singles but for the ones that are already in a relationship uh they could be certain temptations and you're going to just maybe end a cycle of maybe attracting uh those those type of dynamics and why i'm saying by this like for example can I, I i need to shed light on this because some of you, you might experience this and i have no shame to share some of my personal stories um i come from a family that has a lot of divorces okay and what i mean a lot of divorces is that they divorced at least twice that means even my parents they, they divorced they got back together they divorced again okay so that was a minimum in most people of my family both sides that's huge okay and what it did for some reason and attraction i really did not want to get divorced and obviously i did and when i say obviously i did is because i had such a strong resistance to it that i attracted it but not only this i seem to have also for this to kind of like put more turmoil i was attracting a lot of married people and it would always put me in outrage because it was reactivating a wound from my family so this could be you know something and whether i was in a committed relationship or not it was something that was happening it's not happening again because i worked very hard on this wound and this is why i have no problem talking about this but before i used to even feel a little bit of shame towards it because almost like what is about me that i'm doing that is attracting this and i will tell you a lot of it had to do that i didn't have discernment about some of the manipulation i was you know raised by narcissistic uh, a parent that was narcissistic and i did not know what were the techniques and a lot of those techniques that were used on me and that took away my willpower that took away my power were then rehearsed and reinforced in my relationships not always the ones that i was in intimately but sometimes in friendships and people that were attracted you know they saw the innocence the honey okay so i wanted to share this it might you know just help even if it's one person uh, it's 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 important for me to talk about this because it can feel like i was saying it can feel shameful to some people to have this type of attraction or pattern okay so i want to clear the air and say that this <laughs> this is an interesting month for you i'm sending you many blessings much love and light lots of fun have and make great decisions and if you need personal guidance you have all my details in the description box below and please if you can remember to like this video namaste <laughs>